All right, YouTube. Crazy Bags coming back at you. Your brother, Trucker. I'm over here at the Craft Caves in Springfield, Missouri today, and I got a few minutes to talk to you. So I want to talk to you about the important stuff, okay? What's the most important reason we're all out here, right? Right? Right here, right? This is it. So th this, is what we're all, this is what we're all about, right? This is it right here. So it's about, about the money, what you can put in your pocket here at Prime Inc., so let's first talk about lease operator costs, okay? What is it gonna cost you on a weekly basis to lease a truck at Prime, okay? So we can talk about fixed costs. Those are pretty easy, because those are the same every week. And I wrote mine down for you. I took what, my payroll from last week, so this is November 9, 2018. And this is my fixed cost, okay? My truck is $1,064 a week. My APU, they're always rentals, which is actually great, okay? Yeah, I pay $75 rental fee, but I never pay for repairs because of that, okay? So no matter what's wrong with that APU, I never have to pay for it. They pay for it. They fix it. So I pay a $75 rental fee. So I have a DirecTV satellite system in my truck as well uh, through Epic View, so I pay $23 a week for that. I have Abacus Tax Service out of our terminal in Springfield, Missouri. So I pay $22.75 a week for their services. Your fuel card, Prime charges you a dollar a week, so a buck a week for your fuel card, for use of the fuel card. Um, trip imaging, okay, that's your TransFlow, your, your phone app that you scan all your trips and they charge you five bucks a week for that. Um, your federal highway tax, I pay $10.58 a week. My license and permits are $38.75 a week. Um, my occupational health insurance is $28.56 a week. My payroll fee is 10 bucks a week. And I have a, I have a company Sprint phone. Um, I don't use it, it sits in my glove box. It's probably even dead right now. I don't think I've ever even made a call on it. But they have a deal through Sprint here at Prime and you get an unlimited phone, it's 10 bucks a week. So I went ahead and ordered it. I have it always as an emergency backup phone. I know it always has service. I don't ever have to worry about it. I've never had to use it. So, I mean, but really I waste $10 a week, but I always have a little peace of mind knowing I have a backup phone on a different network than my phone. So if I ever don't have service, um, I can always use that phone. But I have T-Mobile and uh, I, you know, I go coast to coast. I'm a trainer. I do a lot of California to Jersey and back, you know, back and forth, Pennsylvania, Utah, um, Washington State, Oregon, and I have service pretty much everywhere with T-Mobile, so it's been pretty good to me. But I do have that, that's $10 a week. And I actually pay for navigation on my Qualcomm. So I pay $10.66 for that. So as of today, my fixed costs are $1,299.30 a week, okay? I owe that every week whether I work or not. So on weeks I go home, I still have to pay $1,299.30. And then you have your fuel costs, uh, which is you know variable cost that changes and then any kind of you know oil when she'll wash her fluid anything you might buy otherwise so all that goes in there so twelve hundred ninety nine dollars and thirty cents a week so you say crazy how do you make any money paying thirteen hundred dollars a week holy crap man i can go work at klm and their truck payment is five hundred sixty five dollars a week okay well that's their truck payment for starters um i worked there for a long time and my fixed costs there were about the same as here when it all washed out in the end, okay? No matter how a recruiter words it to you, in the end, your fixed costs are gonna equal out to about this, okay? Gonna be about 1,300, okay? That's anywhere you go. That's how it works out. So let's talk about income potential here. Okay, so I have the exact numbers from 2017, okay? We're almost done with 2018 but I had the exact numbers for 2017 as a solo driver here at Prime, okay? I can do 2018 probably in February, and that'll be as a trainer, um, so it's gonna be way more. But we can do 2017 as a solo here at Prime. So as a solo here at Prime 2017, I made $197,606 gross income, okay? Um, that is ultimately what they paid me, all right? After everything was paid, Okay, after all my fixed costs, after all my fuel, and after my taxes, I made $71,315, okay? I did that in 43 weeks, 
Okay, I had nine weeks that I spent at home. All right. So if you break that down, this is, and keep in mind now, this is after taxes. If you break it down to the 43 weeks I actually worked, my take home was $1,658.48 a week, okay? That's after taxes. Um, but let's be honest, okay? I worked all year. So really, we need to figure out what was it for the year? So we got to do, we got to divide that same number by 52 weeks to get an accurate number. So for the year of 2017, every single week, I got a check basically for $1,371.44 after taxes. Okay, some of you are going, oh shit, I can make way more money than that somewhere else. I did that on 97,974 miles. Okay, I didn't kill myself. By no means did I kill myself. Um, that came out to an average for the year at 52 weeks of 1,826 miles a week. That's all I drove. Okay, but like I said, I took nine weeks off, so I only worked 43 weeks. In those 43 weeks that I worked, I averaged going 2,278 miles. Okay, if you're a truck driver and you're driving 2,278 miles a week, okay, in 43 weeks, and you're taking home $1,658.48 in those in those 43 weeks, you've done pretty damn well. Okay, comes out to. Uh, was it 62 and a half cents a mile average take home after taxes? Okay, that's after every after expenses, after taxes, and everything. I took home 62 and a half cents. So you you know company drivers here I think make 45 or 48 cents a mile before taxes. So after taxes I took home 62 and a half cents a mile. So it, it's really good money. You have the potential to make a lot of money. I make a lot more money than this now. Okay, but I'm a trainer. So I can do another video next year when, when the taxes are done and kind of give you an idea of, of how that pays. But um, for an example, this week I took home like 3,600 bucks as a trainer, one week. Okay, that's one week pay. That was after I paid everything. Okay, after I paid everything out and before taxes, I took home like 3,600 bucks as a trainer here at Prime. And you can become a trainer after six months, okay? So the, the possibility to make money here is huge, okay? It's a, it's a big deal. You can make a lot of money here. My experience, I worked at KLM on the Tyson Dedicated, I was on the Tyson Dedicated account the last two and a half years I worked at KLM, okay? That's their, one of their highest paying accounts, okay? It's a dedicated run. And I took home about before taxes, I took home about 1200 a week. Okay, so you gotta take taxes out of that. So I took home probably over $300 more a week here after taxes, okay? That's a big difference, okay? What can you do with $300 a week more, you know, a week? So $300 is a lot, that's, you know, if, if you say a week has, a month has four weeks, which if you know anything about the calendar and quarters, you know that's not totally accurate, but, it's just say four weeks in a month, that's $1,200 a month. I would guarantee you most of you, that $1,200 would pay all your household bills, okay? Not food and all that, but I mean your, your, your mortgage or rent, your electric, your water, your cable. So just by changing jobs, okay, when I left KLM and come here, just the extra money that I make here compared to there pays all my household bills, just the extra money. Then I still have my paycheck that I was making there, but now all my bills are paid. So I'm making a lot more money here, and I'm not killing myself. I was doing that there on 3,000 miles a week. Here I'm doing it on 2,278. So I'm doing it on 800 miles less a week. Okay, that's a lot of miles, that's a big difference. So what it boils down to is you kind of have to make a, a decision for you whether or not lease operating versus company drivers for you. You know, like I, I just broke it down for you, the lease operating cost for me, $1,299.30 a week. I have some extras on there that you may not have, you know, if you came to work here, like the, the satellite system's $23, the tax service is $22.75. Get the damn tax service, all right? Let them, let them take care of your taxes for you. Prime will send them your, your settlements every week. They will get everything set up for you and give you a quarterly tax bill that you can just pay the IRS. Okay, don't ignore your taxes. Okay, take it from experience. We won't get into that, but you don't, don't, don't fuck with Uncle Sam. All right, beep beep, whatever. Don't don't mess with Uncle Sam. All right, 
not a good idea. So basically what I'm telling you is my first year here at Prime, I took home an average every week of $1,371.44, and that is with a fixed cost of $1,300 a week, okay? So, and that's after taxes. That's after I paid my $10,000 tax bill last year. That's what my taxes were last year. They were like $10,720 and like 20 something bucks. I mean, hell, I can look. Let's see, what was it exactly? I give you the exact number. It's $10,306, okay? That's, that's what I owed in taxes last year. 10306 bucks. okay? A little bit of money, but if you pay it quarterly when they send you the bill, it's not that bad. Um, pay, you know, $2,500 a quarter, you're good. So the way I do that now is I have what they have called an emergency fund here, and they, I have them keep 5% of my gross revenue every week, okay? It goes into an emergency fund. That emergency fund is totally my money. I can get it whenever I want. All I do is make a request to payroll telling them I want X amount of money or I want everything in my emergency fund. And on the very next payroll, they transfer that and put it into my, onto my settlement, okay? It goes right onto my, onto my payroll. So, and that's how I would do it if I was you. You know, hold back a couple hundred dollars a week, put it into an emergency fund. Every 13 weeks when you get your quarterly statement from Abacus Tax Service, it says, hey, according to what we figured out, you're gonna, you know, you should make a tax payment of, 3,000 bucks, send them 3,000 bucks, all right? Keep you out of trouble in the long run. You won't have a big tax bill at the end. All right, I think that's it for this. That gives you the fixed cost. That kind of gives you what I made my first year, so what your potential is. Um, it's a great company to work for. Prime is wonderful. They're, they're all about the driver. They're not going to kill you to make your money. Like I said, I, I mean, I broke it down to you on a weekly average of uh, 2,278 miles a week to 43 weeks I worked. So if you know anything about truck driving, you know that's not hard work. So it's just over 300 miles a day on average, okay? So now that's not how it works. Some days I drive 600, some days I drive 100. So it all depends. See, we get 72% of the load here. I can go into that really quick. So the way the pay works here is you get 72% of the load, okay? It's not about miles here at all. Okay, because I've had loads that I've took 100 miles and paid 750 bucks. Okay, it's not about mileage here. You don't have to worry about mileage. All right, all you have to worry about is your revenue for the week. Okay, and actually, as a lease operator, the shorter loads actually pay you a lot more and they're a lot more profitable. So, we have a lot of loads that go two, three hundred miles and they pay seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, especially going in the Northeast, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. So, um, I think the best one I had is I took a load from Kennesaw, Georgia to Publix right there outside of Atlanta. It was uh, like 58 miles and paid me like $586. So as an example, it's not, it's not about miles here. You don't have to kill yourself. So it's all about trip planning, being smart. Um, I don't really turn down loads. I, I do go to the Northeast. I spend a lot of time in the Northeast. I don't go to the five boroughs. Okay. So, if you know anything about Northeast, you know what the five boroughs are. It's, it's New York City and the, and the suburbs of New York City, you know, whether it be Manhattan or Brooklyn, um, Queens, Staten Island. I don't go there, okay? They, those loads pay great, but I won't take them. They don't pay good enough. They never will for me. So, but I do go up to Connecticut and Massachusetts. So, I do deal with some traffic. But it's worth it to me. I make enough money here. So, the, the income potential here is big. Um, Prime is very much about what you put into it. So if you're willing to get out here and put the work in, they're willing to make sure that you are successful and that you're going to make enough money to live off of nicely. Okay. You come to work for Prime for five years, there's no reason why you can't own a house and, and have nice vehicles at home and, and have your kids in private school if that's where you want them. Um, there's no reason at all. There's enough money here to do that. You're going to make that kind of money, especially if you get into the training side of it. Um, I don't have the, the year numbers for training, so I don't want to really get into it, but I will tell you that I'm probably averaging taking home close to $3,000 a week training, okay? That's a lot of money to be made here. And you can train at Prime after six months, okay? Now, there's some stipulations of that, you know, log, your logging ability, your, your safety record, um, and whatnot, but you can you can pretty much train here after six months of being a, a good citizen. Okay, yeah, I guess that's all we can say, a good citizen. So, and if you get to that point, then you start making real money. 
All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all have any questions, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Y'all take care. I'll see you out there. Be safe, but more important, be successful.